Oh my god. Crispy Coil. The Lab. As I digress on Easter. Oh my god. Wu-Tang. Easter. Crispy. And the legend. No, he didn't. Jake, dude, what is up? Yeah, we're back, dude. Back like we left our wallets. Oh my god, dude. Let me grip that. Yo, did I really leave my wallet? Ben got that back. As I am back. Look at that horse right there. Like I was born to do it. You know what I'm saying? Let me turn this little Wu-Tang down right here so I can get into this video real quick. Oh my god, dude. Jake was like, Crispy, we trying to do a video today? I was like, Jake, you already know. Let me set the timer here for 15 minutes so we can get this going. Alright. 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 We got that going. Okay. Now, we have four pickups today I feel like showing. We got Sports Center on. We're taking a break after the Flyers game. Flyers game was very epic. Uh, it was just all that, dude. Great series with the Rangers. From the Badlands of McGill. You know, I like to like jump in with that. Jake. ADHD. You know what we all about. You know what I'm saying? But Jake is doing well, dude. A lot of people have been asking about the boy. We were out earlier. He was howling at this golden retriever around the way. He was spitting game vicious. You know what I'm saying? He got the digits. He might call her on his celly later. Titanium teeth and all that. If you didn't know, Jake had titanium teeth. Titanium teeth. I said titanium teeth. Anyway, dude. What do you got on feet today? Oh, my God. Gucci slipper. Titanium claws. Dude, don't ever mess. You come in to try to steal my sneakers, dude. You might catch You might catch a, catch a knuckle in the throat. If you ever want to waterproof your kicks, use this stuff right here. Repel well. It doesn't leave like a film. Like, if you ever use that stuff on your Timberlands, you know it, like, can change the colors. This stuff right here doesn't. Great stuff. Repel well. It's not just a clever name, you know what I'm saying? It actually works. So it does actually repel well. Let me see if I can get a little bit more light in this, in this bitch. And I was just thinking about how many, like, eight-year-olds might watch this. So I'm going to try to cut down on the curse words a little bit. I can't help it, you know what I'm saying? I'm half trucker, so I just, I just curse and whatnot. But, uh, as you see, I just used the repel well on these here mints. A warrior, killer, slice and shit like a samurai. I took the lasers out. Great job, you know what I'm saying? You could run these under a faucet right now and they would just, they would just be dry as ever. These came with, with several lace options. As you can see right here. I might use these bags later for different, for different, uh, items. I, you know, I, <laughs> yo, I remember back in the day. We used to go into this store called Artifacts on Cotman Avenue. And if you mentioned weed or chronic or nuggets in any way, you got thrown out immediately. Yo, it's a head shop. You sell bongs. Like, let's not act like you sell this shit for tobacco. Like, don't throw me out because I'm honest. Like, I remember one time my boy was like, talk to the dude working there. Mind you, he was, he was this grungy granola hippie. Stinking like patchouli, Doc Martens, like long dreadlocks. My boy was like, yo, man, I got some nuggets. He was like, what? How dare you mention nuggets in my presence, you vomit. Leave my premises at once. Like all of a sudden he got all, he got all snotty and whatnot. So he went outside and I busted a tag on his window with a mean streak. Nut ass dude. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> Did I just incriminate? What? I don't even know where I'm at right now, dude. I was just kidding, dude. That was a dream I had one time. There is no place called Artifacts on Cotman Ave across from the Roosevelt Mall. And the dude's name wasn't... Ah, never mind. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we used to have to go in there and be like, Hi, I collect stamps. Do you have any stamps bags? <laughs> Yo! And they pull out this chart with all these different color bags, all these different bags, like, you know, ones that have, like, Bart Simpson, ones that have, like, little targets, little public enemy symbols, and they all have little coins in them. <laughs> ah, like, people aren't using that to sell weed. Come on, dude. Ah, oh, man. Yo, I just wasted a minute telling a story from Artifacts from back in the day, as, as there's probably, like, eight people who watch these videos and know what I'm talking about. It's all right, guys. Uh, you know, in your neighborhood, I'm sure you have a head shop, and it's probably similar, so you can just... You know, 
I'm just talking about the good old days, you know what I'm saying? As you can see right here, uh, Ronnie gave us reading materials this time. Big shout out. LMK. My man, oh my god. We did a blockbuster trade, dude. My man Kiran, I sent him my Hirachis, my Mohab Hirachis, man. That, 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 kid with, that, that pair of kicks was like a son to me. I loved them so much, dude, but I really wanted a pair of these, and I still need the Coves in a size 12. Need that, so hook me up. Anybody got them, man? I'm really interested. Johnny Cupcake socks. Johnny Cupcake's pin. Big shout out to Tyler. You might know him as T Blake. He sent me this shirt right here. I, uh, I copped it. He had a couple left. And this is the red one. Uh, it's my first Johnny Cupcakes purchase. Really high quality. I love the attention to detail. Cool hang tag. And if you look, the little tag right here for the size is a little oven mitt. That is so ill. So thanks for that, Tyler. I really appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into the kicks, man. I'm already like a couple minutes in. I get messages sometimes like, Crispy, it takes you too long to get to the sneakers. <laughs> Dude, you know what I'm saying, dude? Just just roll out, nut. You know what I'm saying? Hit the bricks. <laughs> the bricks. Anyway, dude, we got this right here. Air Max 1 Premium QS. That stands for Quiet Smurf. Um, yeah. <laughs> Quiet Smurf. Ah, oh, that's classic, dude. That's going in the act. I have to remember that. You guys have all seen these. I've just been slacking on my videos, so I pack a whole bunch of sneakers in one video comes with that ill hang tag now people all say like I got a lot of people that hated on these I left one tweet I hardly ever tweet but when I do I mean it you know what I mean it's like saying I love you if you say I love you every other day it don't mean nothing but if you only say I love you like once a year yo that means something dude that might pull out a tear or two you know what I'm saying so my tw my tweets hit hard so I put out one tweet like yo I can't wait for these joints and uh, all these people were like Mikey's ruining the classics uh, all they're doing is reworking it and putting on a new color. And then I love the, the shape, the shape queens. Oh, the shape. Oh, the toe box is too bulky. The shape. Dude, then don't buy them then, nut. You know what I'm saying? I, leave them for me. You know what I mean? Nut ass dudes talking shit. You, you don't like it, don't buy it. For real. I hate these people to complain. I like it. And I'm copping it. And I copped them. The materials are all that. And the reason they put the yellow on the bottom, Einstein, is because back in the day, they, the, the samples that they were using had this color sole. So they were paying homage to the OG, 326. You know what I'm saying? March 26, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it was Air Max Day. I celebrated that day. I had a great day. I wore some 360s. It was dope. But, um, yeah, they came with the hang tag. They don't make these sneakers for you to like them. They make them just because they want to. And if people like them, they like them. And I thought these were dope. So to all the shape queens out there and the, and the dudes just love to talk shit about Nike. Yeah, dude. Run that. Love them kicks, man. So glad I got them. It's a big shout out to my man, Manny. Manny, thank you so much for holding me down on these. I like to give props where they're due. And a lot of times I don't like to say the names of the people that look out, but definitely deserved it, man. I really, I couldn't get these. And he looked out. Now these two kicks right here. These got, these are a love it or hate it sneaker. I love it. Um, I like all kinds of sneakers, whether it's uh, football cleats. I don't even care if it's dope. I like it. I don't play football, so it doesn't uh, necessitate me getting football cleats, but I think some are dope. This is the NSW, Nike Sportswear Tempo 94 Mid Quick Strike, or should I say Quiet Smurf. Um, oh, my God. Now, these are soccer kicks, right? As you can see, they come with the tongue shield to, like, protect your little, you know what I mean, your little laces right there. Of course, I'm not going to rock it like that, but if you want to, you know what I mean, you want to get a little funky, it's, it's, it's an option. Now... The shoes that these were uh, designed after is a guy named, like, Matarazzi. Leave in the comment box his name. Tempo N Nike Premier. The leather is incredible. It's like a band one type leather. As you can see, the shoe is ridiculous. It has a, a phylon, as you can see right there. Phylon, it's an injected phylon midsole, so it's really, really comfortable. It's in the, the classic Jordan 1 colorway. I mean, it's just a, the leather is bomb leather, dude. This leather right here is that, uh, yo, big shout out to my man, Lal Bond, man. If you want one of those boxes, holler at him. But uh, Bond had something on his Instagram. Uh, he said something about, like, the old polo 
the 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 polo leather jackets from back in the day with the horse on them on the chest oh my god the leather was so crazy we used to rack them out of uh franklin mills man i am dry snitching on myself heavy in this video I, I you know man like i said this was a dream i had that one time you know what i mean so just i digress on everything i just said but um the leather was crazy just like this but uh this was one of the colorways that i, I wanted two colorways shout out to extra butter um, they had them and I called them up and it was real easy, easy transaction, NSW94. This was the colorway that I really, really wanted. Um, glad I got it. These are so comfortable. G a great time for the, uh, great shoe for the summertime. Rock these with some, uh, some cargoes. You know what I'm saying? Just look at this shoe, man. It's mean. I know a lot of people don't like it. Like I said, then it's not for you, you know what I mean? Everybody, we don't all like the same things, and that's what makes this great. Um, and I bet you if Kanye West wore this tomorrow, the price would go up threefold on eBay. Everybody can laugh at that, but let's be real. Dude wears a all-red Air Max 90 Fuse, and the price is six, $700. I mean, let's be real, people. Is that because the shoe's dope or because he wore it? I'll let you answer that question to yourselves. You know what I'm saying? But um, this has been crispy. This is the same thing I do every time I do a video. You know what I'm saying? I want to send a big shout out to my man, Zaya X. Uh, he gave me a little shout out in his video, and I really appreciate that. Um, I just, guys, when I do these videos, you know what I'm saying? It's like, raw, I'm going to give it to you with no trivia. Jake's like cocaine straight from Bolivia. His hip hop will rock and shock the nation. Yo, Jake, man, remember we were talking about what we were going to say in this video? Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, man. You told me not to, but I'm going to do it. Yo, YouTube is sorrowly lacking right now. I set the microphone on fire. Um, originality is, is something that's key. And uh, I want to see more of what you're like as a person and not what the sneakers you bought are like. Um, I feel like personality is what distinguishes you from the next cat. And um, maybe the, your, your life stories, why you like these shoes, why you don't like them. Um... With these right here, why I like them, because the first time I saw this commercial, it blew me away. When I saw this airbag and, and, and when, the, when the shoe stomps, it like almost squishes in the commercial. You know what I'm talking about when the dude's running? Um, but I love these shoes. Like, I love them. Like, I couldn't wait to wear them. I kept them DS just so I could do this video. And I've been slacking like a mug. But, um, yeah, just look at these, man. Um, the reason I like sneakers is because I couldn't afford them when I was younger. And I think they're amazing. It's the best part of my outfit. It's the one thing that separates you from the rest of the pack. Nine out of ten people aren't going to know that these are Ronnie Five Asics. But that one person that peeps you walking by rocking these, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, and also, it's for attention from females. Why else am I doing this? Like, I could care less what dudes think. It's the female attention. It's the fact that I feel better when I'm rocking these. Knowing that when I was all shot out in the game and... You know what I mean? I, I didn't have a place to live. Like, all I had was a pair of busted tuned airs. So when you got a pair of two-year-old TNs and the front the front rubber's peeling off and you, you feel like shit. But when you pull these out the box, you take the hang tag off, you get your laces situated over, under, of course, like an OG should, you feel like a million bucks. You know what I mean? I don't care whether it's walking the dog or going to a big event. Like... Feeling good is about looking good, and that's why I like sneakers. These are like little trophies for me staying sober and doing right, working a good job and going to work every day and not calling out when, when the alarm clock goes off and you don't feel like getting up. It's about being a good person and being a good dude. And uh, that's my little spiel, man. When you make your videos, I want to see who you are. You know what I mean? I know you got the kicks. We can see that. Why'd you get them? You know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> Get your shit right. You know what I'm saying? Look at the laces. Wax laces. What? Crazy outsole. You know what I'm saying? When I struck, I had on Tim's in a black mask. Remember that shit? No, I don't remember Jack. Yo, I'm out of here, man. This is crispy. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody that likes what I'm doing. Please leave comments. Please hit the comment button. The comment button. You know what I'm saying? Comment. Like. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? If you like what I'm doing, I'll make more videos. Tell me, you know what I'm saying? If you don't like it, let me know why. Um, hey, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, we can chit chat, we can interact. It's all about internets. What up, Dallas Penn? What up, DP?
All right, I'm out of here. Two fingers, Philadelphia.